what's up it's Allison here with another tip I know I post all types of things on my page I'm not just a mommy blogger or a blogger period I just like to share what I've learned I'm not just someone here posting about food I'm not only posting about um, you know biblical things um, I'm just going to post whatever I feel like helps me can help somebody else. Of course, the majority of my videos are usually about my baby girl because I don't want to lose anything off of her. So I'm hoping my Google One continues to always work and maybe one day I can put them on a DVD or something. But anyway, let's get right to the point of why I'm on here today. So I am leaving Advanced Auto Parts. That was my first time really um, being with them was not sponsored okay I went there because about a month ago or a little over a month ago our rear light our rear right light stopped working I replaced the bulb I've done that before mind you I'm a very hands-on girl I love to put things together I love to get into the car whenever I can and if it's something I don't feel like the car is gonna you know drop on me <laughs> um so anywho, that was that did not correct the problem. The light was still out. So I immediately I thought maybe it was a fuse or something. Now, um, both rear lights stopped working. The rear brake lights, okay, and the rear signals. Now my front signals are working perfectly fine, and then. But the left headlight stopped working. It would only work if the high beams are on. Now, I immediately thought, oh, it's the multifunctional switch. And in my head, I'm thinking, your car only has one multifunctional switch and it just works for all the lights and whatever. I was under the pressure because of some YouTube videos saying the multifunctional switch is the thing that you actually turn, you know, the clicker to turn your lights on and stuff with. What in the world is this car doing? Y'all, my goodness. I, I'm not even driving fast. I'm driving slow. And this car comes out in traffic and it's going slow. Like, get out the way. Anywho, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have road rage, okay? Just safety. Safety. And yes, I'm being safe even while I'm recording this video. <laughs> For somebody who want to get smart. <laughs> Anyways, so... Um, that's not the case. Apparently, there are multi multifunctional switches to do many things in your car. So, I am so glad, thank God, that we bought this car brand new and that it is about to be eight years old. Actually, it is eight years old. Um, I bought this car, what, June 12th, 2012. And it is a 2012. But, okay. Um, thankfully enough, I was able to contact one of our friends and... I ended up just replacing the front bulb. Now, the front bulb is one bulb. It looks like this. I'm at, a, I'm at a light. It looks just like this. This one bulb. But apparently, this one bulb has two fuses that works with the low beam and high beam. So, even though it was turning on when I had the brights on, the high beams, it would not work with just the regular lights. But now it does because I replaced the bulb for $20 for one bulb. That's the bulb number. Hope y'all can see that because I'm not about to touch my phone while I'm switching lanes. And then I also replaced the brake light switch. Now that's another thing. It's a thing that's actually underneath the car, in, in the inside of the car, underneath the steering wheel. And I'm about to come to another light. But it looks like this. This is the number. Hope y'all can see that. Okay. I'm gonna open this up. So I'm at the light now. Hurry up. Ugh. It looks like this. This is the one for my 2012 Jeep Patriot. Okay. This thing actually was sticking out when I ended up replacing it. And then the car is so old that I had to get the guy to come out the store to pull it out the thing for me. I was using my dang on screwdriver, but I couldn't get it. He, he's 
scratched himself with the screwdriver. So thank you, Lord, for that guy doing it for me. Um, <laughs> so anywho, replaced that, and this was only twelve dollars. But even though this was so cheap, this this thing cheaper than a bowl. My goodness. Anywho, but my rear lights are still not working. So according to my friend, it really could be either a fuse or it could be the multifunctional switch. So I'm just praying that it's something really cheap, okay? I'm tired of spending money where, you know, I just don't need to. So I'm gonna have to go to the, um, back to the dealership, not dealership, back to the auto place that we go to down in Norcross. And hopefully we get some word on that. Um, but yeah, just wanted to share those tidbits, you know, before you just go to an auto shop and they tell you it's this and that, check your bulbs if you can and check your, um, switches. You know, it's a lot of cheap stuff. Google is your friend most of the time, not WebMD. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just wanted to share that. It's very, very helpful. So basically today I spent what? $34 with tax about, about no more than $34 so that's not bad because the biggest thing was us being able to have our front lights working you know we don't want to be driving with head beams on that's so annoying somebody driving behind you with head beams and they don't need to be on you know what I'm saying so we don't want to be doing that to people but we need to get these brake lights working that's dangerous so for the time being, we've literally just been driving in daytime. It's it's Corona time anyways, you know? But I'm so excited because we get to go see somebody tomorrow. And I'm not gonna say it because I'm gonna post this video and just in case my family sees the video. I don't want um, anyone to basically ruin the surprise. Anywho, so yeah, okay. Thank you, God bless. If you like this video, please share, subscribe, and help someone else out who's learning their car or learning how to do stuff or whatever. Okay, so I'm feeling it. Bye. Peace and many blessings.